Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is snowy out here, as you can see, and that is the whole premise of this video. Uh, the dogs are absolutely loving it. Franklin right there and Maya having a good old time in the snow. But we got this storm on Sunday, and it is now Thursday, and this is what is still left. Uh, we got about 32 inches up here, according to my measurements. As you can see right here, big old pile. The company car is still stuck under the snow. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. I'm sorry if it is. Uh, I'm gonna come over here, but you can kind of see where the truck was. I'll throw some pictures up here. Let me zoom out a bit. The truck was sitting right here and the snow was just, I mean, drifted so high up and over the uh, the truck. It was nuts. Like I said, I'll throw some pictures up. Uh, as you can see over here, I, had, I got uh, a little western. I had to give her some sauce to get out of the snow bank here. There's the, the wheel mark. Uh, so like I said, I have, these are, those are 22s on that truck and unfortunately they're 22s, but <laughs> that is the wheel mark and that's is, this is four days after the snow. So we just got absolutely hammered with the, with the storm here. And, uh, today I was driving and when I parked, I was like, man, my truck is squatting. That is crazy. The snow is so heavy. Uh, and I'm kind of parked at an angle right now. So it's looks a little worse than it probably is right now at least but most of this snow with the exception of like this little pile and some of this right here most of this you know all up here is fresh and uh that is what is in it right now but i figured it might be kind of fun to try to fill up the truck with as much snow as i possibly can with uh, just the shovel obviously and uh see how much it it can hold i it's gonna squat quite a bit because i mean it's just an f-150 they don't handle weight well anyways but uh let's try to fill this thing up as high as i possibly can and uh see what it does All right, after a little time lapse, a lot of work, a little out of breath right now. Uh, <laughs> the truck is is squatting a lot, to say the least. Uh, looks like I have a trailer on it right now. Here, I'll show you now. Uh, let me zoom out a bit, that makes it a little better. <laughs> the front side, you can definitely see it. Like, I mean, the the cap in the, the front wheel well is pretty noticeable, but when you come back to the back side of the truck, it is like blatantly obvious how much it's squatting and how heavy that is. <laughs> It is, uh, it's, it's low for sure. It's got a, a nice, nice squat to it. We'll walk all the way around here. I haven't actually looked at it from this side yet. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. It's, uh, it's squatting pretty good. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of weight. This is a lot of snow for sure. I'm not even to the top of it. Uh, those leaf rings are getting, uh, getting a little flatter so you know for an f-150 obviously it's uh it's something if you put this much weight in a diesel <laughs> it wouldn't even uh wouldn't even budge a little bit so i don't let you know how much weight that would be equivalent to but you know i mean it's it's a good uh couple feet over the cab and i packed it as you saw like uh in the video i went and s stepped on it all through here and on the back side and this is pretty packed up front here or on the back side here i mean it is tall like i mean i can't even hold the camera over the snow pile so i probably could have gotten it uh, a little bit taller to be honest with you but i'm a little out of breath and uh i <laughs> i started getting a little nervous about packing it too tall on the cab side because i didn't want it to start putting a lot of pressure on the back window and maybe cause issues there that'd be my luck is break my uh, back window on this truck while trying to film a stupid uh, YouTube video. <laughs> but uh, no, nevertheless, I think uh, mission accomplished. It is very, very tall, very heavy. Right off the rip here, <laughs> I can kind of feel how heavy it is. The braking, uh, you can just kind of feel I'm going down kind of a steep hill right now, how heavy it is. It's kind of funny through the sunroof if the sun uh, won't uh, glare you out here. Hold on, let me get around the corner. You can obviously see in the back window, it's totally covered, but 
right there through the back part of the sunroof you can see the pile of snow sticking up over the cab so it's a little over the top right now it's kind of it's kind of rubbing against the back window as i hit little bumps i can hear it so it's making me a little nervous <laughs> um that it's gonna bang against it and uh blast through that window let's hope that doesn't happen but it's it's definitely a lot heavier you can just kind of feel it in the in the movement it's got a lot of weight back there for just snow which is crazy you know think about it literally just have snow in the back of my truck and it feels like i have you know a bunch of 40 pound bags of wood pellets or uh you know sandbags or something back there it, it definitely has some weight to it so we're just taking a cruise down the hill here just to see how it handles as you can see on the sides of the roads here just how much snow is still piled up and uh this thing's working pretty good here uh we're cruising uh, let me get a little bit of a better angle here for you so, kind of have to drop her down a gear and uh, build some boost to get grow going i'm not there's pedal to the floor so she's got a lot of weight in her you can feel it kind of bogged down <laughs> a little bit and and having to really build boost and drop a gear to to get going but with uh, that much snow in the back of the truck, I guess I shouldn't expect anything less, but honestly, the truck's handling a little bit better than I thought. I thought for sure this thing was gonna be squatting uh, even more and be really, really uh, like heavy and and hard to drive. You can feel it in the brakes, like I said, when you're coming downhill and just there, you know, I had to kind of give her a, quite a bit of throttle to really, really get going. But with that being said, it still handled it pretty well. I'm actually impressed by this truck. So uh, what uh, what it looks like with 10, or 10 feet of snow in the back of your truck, uh, a lot of people look at you. I couldn't get very good, good reactions just because <coughs> I was driving the whole time and uh, the the uh, camera wasn't really able to pick up people as I was driving by. I'm gonna cut you off here. Catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.